Hey Freedom Kids, it's Miss Siobhan. It's been a long time. However, I am excited to be back with you here on today. So, before I get too far ahead of myself, I just want to remind you, if you have questions from last week, please go ahead and turn those in to kids at myfreedombfw.com. That is kids, K-I-B-Z, at myfreedombfw.com. We're going to get into some praise and worship before we get into our lesson for today. So, worship, give God all the praise you have. And I'll see you on the other side. Is it a right to be brag on God for a minute? Yeah, nobody's been better to us than God. Put your hands on it, yeah. Beyond my wildest dreams 
This is called my testimony walk. Yeah. Everybody take a slow. Yeah. Miranda, when the haters come to bother him tomorrow, everybody move. Bees in the air said victory. Yes, sir. Say, yeah. Don't 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 So this story this week is actually a story that was told by Jesus to get people to understand some things about the kingdom and how God works. So if you want to, and I suggest you should, open up your Bible to the New Testament, to Matthew 18, verses 21 through 35. That's where you can find it. Well, watch this video, and like I said, I'll be back with you shortly. Every year, there were debts to be paid. Many citizens owed the king money, and today was the day he required payment. The king called in his first servant, a servant who owed him 10,000 bags of gold. You owe me a great sum of money, the king said, and today I demand that you pay every last coin. The servant had indeed borrowed a great deal of money from the king, but he knew it was impossible to repay what he owed. We barely have what we have to get by, he said fearfully as he glanced back at his family. I have no way to repay you, your majesty. The king was very unhappy. He motioned to his guard. Since he is unable to pay, I command that he, his wife, and his children be sold off as slaves and sell all of his possessions too. With that, the servant fell to his knees and begged the king, please be patient with me and I will find some way to pay you back. This act of extreme desperation and humility moved the king to compassion. His expression quickly turned from anger to mercy as he declared, I forgive you every last coin you owe me. The king promptly canceled the servant's debt and commanded that the entire family be set free. In light of this great act of mercy, you would think that this servant would himself deal mercifully with others. However, when he remembered that his fellow servant owed him a very small amount of money, he showed no pity at all. Instead, the shameless servant hunted down the man in order to force him to pay his debt. When he saw his fellow servant, he grabbed him by the throat, saying, Pay me back the money you owe me. The servant dropped to his knees and begged him, Please be patient with me and I will find some way to pay you back. But the ungrateful servant refused to show mercy and had the man thrown into prison until he could come up with the money he owed. When the other servants saw how he treated the man, they were outraged and took the matter to the king himself. The king called for the servant. You wicked servant, he said. I canceled all the debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have done the same for your fellow servant? With that, the king commanded that he be thrown into jail and tortured until he could pay off every last penny. 
Okay, so let's unwrap what we just saw. It was short and sweet, however, it packs a big punch when you look at each piece and it preaches. If you don't know what that means, it's like the grown up term for that pops. Okay, so there was the king, an unmerciful servant, and a servant, just to keep them separated so you don't get confused. Now, there were some words that were in there that maybe we don't understand completely, so let me help you. Mercy is when you give someone what they need instead of what they deserve. In this parable that Jesus was telling, if the king had not shown the unmerciful servant mercy, he would have sold his family off into slavery to prepay his debts. But the king showed him mercy. Then there's forgiveness. Forgiveness is a letting go and forgiving someone. That means you don't have or trying to seek vengeance or hold resentment against them. I know you're probably saying, well, what does that mean? Vengeance means if you say you forgive someone, you're not looking for an opportunity to get them back. You let it go. If you forgive someone, when you see them, you're not saying, oh, well, I wish they would have done this. You let it go. So let's talk about this. The plot twist that I didn't see at all the first time I read this was the fact that the unmerciful servant, who the king had showed mercy to, turned around and did not show mercy or forgiveness to the servant who begged him. Didn't end up too good for him in this story. But here's the thing that I said, here's the part that preaches, it pops. God has forgiven us a debt that we can never repay. Scripture actually tells us the wages of sin is death. That means if you sin, you're going to experience that eternal death. But the gift of God is eternal life to everyone who believes. God granted us mercy by forgiving us. We should forgive as we've been forgiven, and we should be merciful as we have been shown mercy. So, how can we show mercy? When someone asks for forgiveness, grant it, give it to them. When someone apologizes, accept their apology. When someone wrongs you, bring it to their attention respectfully. That means you're not coming, you did this to me, no. You say, you know, you did this and this is how I feel. Give them an opportunity to apologize. And Reavers, guys, this week is one that doesn't have moments to go with it. If you can think of some, you are a rock star. Turn in what you come up with if you can come up with something. It comes from Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but 77 times. We're going to say that again. And this time I want you to read along with me. Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? And Jesus said unto him, I do not say to you seven times, but 77 times. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for showing us mercy by forgiving our sins. Through the cross, you paid every debt we owe, and we can never repay you. We pray that you help us see our own sinful hearts and realize how much we have been forgiven so that we can be merciful and forgive others in turn. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I have a game for you guys today. And if you're at home, this should be very easy if you live in a house where people wear shoes. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna ask your mom or dad or uncle or brother or cousin, granny, sister or brother, whoever's at the house with you. You're gonna ask if you can borrow their shoes. Now, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna put them on your feet and you're gonna walk around. Have you ever heard of the phrase that sometimes people say, Put yourself in someone else's shoes. Well, today you are literally going to walk in someone else's shoes. So, go find a pair of shoes, put them on, walk a couple of laps around the living room or wherever you might feel comfortable. If you got stairs, be careful. <laughs> but just give it a chance and walk around a little bit. I'm gonna give you a few moments and we'll come back and talk about this. Okay, hopefully you didn't fall and you didn't have on any shoes that were stinky. All right, so let's talk about it. Was it easy for you? Did you understand like how older people can walk in these shoes or why they walk the way they walk or did the shoes even feel comfortable to you? This activity shows us what it's like to try to understand why people do what they do. It's hard to understand and we should 
In those cases where we can't understand, forgive people because we don't understand.